What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We got a super exciting one today and as you guys saw in the intro, we got the head back for our E36 M3. So now it's just a matter of putting this thing back together. We did a number of small things along the way. We made sure to clean up the mating surface across the head here and then we also cleaned up a few things that are going to attach to the head itself like our thermostat housing the flange, the water flange that goes into the rear of the head, and then a number of other things like replacing our sensors. So while we had the entire head apart, I thought why not uh, do a little bit of maintenance on the car. And we, we kind of spoke about it on the previous video about you know just spending some money on maintenance rather than power upgrade and so on. So we ended up replacing our knock sensor as well as our crankshaft position sensor. So this thing looked pretty old and beat up, so I'm glad we replaced it and it was gonna be very hard to get access to that once the head was back in the car. So we did that. We also got a new camshaft position sensor, which will, which will plug in to the head here once we're throwing it back together. But now we got that block cleaned up as much as possible. It's glistening right now, a lot better than it was before. So what we're gonna do now is unboxing the ARP head studs and start putting those in here. So that's gonna be step number one. And once we have that, we'll put the head gasket on, start throwing the head back on, bolt everything back up, and we're basically like halfway there. Minus all the miscellaneous stuff here that is absolutely scaring the crap out of me. But we're gonna get through it. Um, shout out to Only Dan's. Uh, shout out Only Dan's on YouTube. He has this super intricate video on how to put this motor back together and even doing the timing from scratch, which is nice. So we'll see if we need to do that. I think our timing should be okay, but I'm gonna redo it just because I don't think the person who did the install or the repairs on this car in the past did it properly because there was a few things that were kind of standing out and didn't look too good. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead, put the camera on a tripod, get the ARP's head studs and start putting those things in. So we got all of our head studs in the block itself. Again, you don't have to tighten these up too much according to the instructions. You just gotta put them hand tight, which I did. And then I did put a thin layer of silicone across this right here and right here. And then across the entire flange, just because mine wasn't smooth. So I wanted to make sure that we get a good seal. Um, and there's a few other people who recommend doing this, especially if you have like gouges or any surface rust. Um, I did clean it up as much as possible, but that's just, this is just a precautionary measure. So now we'll get to throw the head gasket on, and then from there we can start actually putting the head back on. not fun that was a lot harder than expected but we got it on so heads on I don't know if I damaged the bottom trying to get it on but I really hope I didn't um, the headers uh, honestly made it a lot harder because they were kind of getting stuck on the 
bolt the exhaust studs as well. But we got it on, it looks like it's flush on both sides. So now we're gonna start throwing the actual head studs, tighten those up. And then from there, we'll start doing our cams, cam trays, lifters. And then after that is mostly the easy part, just plugging everything back together. But 90% of the hard work is done. So I'm just gonna continue here with the head studs, get those torqued up and all this work. And I completely forgot, I don't have the right tool. In my head, we were bolting these down with uh, E-bit or E-Torx bit, but that's not what it uses. So it uses a 12 point socket. So I don't have that, unfortunately. So I got that on order from Amazon. Hopefully that should be here tomorrow. So we'll continue tomorrow. But for now, I could probably use a break. So we're gonna call it here for today at least and then continue tomorrow. So this morning, our little Amazon package arrived for the head studs. So now we can actually start throwing these on. Off camera, I actually did a little bit more work and I got the headers installed so all of those are tightened up and ready to go. Um, honestly, exhaust work, I freaking hate it. Like it takes so long, especially headers, aftermarket headers to be exact. They never go on easy as they should. And um, I spent a little bit too long than I would like to acknowledge trying to get those on. But we got our schematic right here. This is what we're gonna follow. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, whatever, all the way down. So we're gonna go 35, 65, and then 85. Three stages and get this head on here nice and tight. And hopefully no leaks after that. So I continued working yesterday and I made a lot of progress. As you can see, we got our cams in and everything is tightened up. I think I did to seven foot pounds first and then I did it all the way up to 11. So it doesn't need to be too tight or anything. A digital torque wrench definitely comes in handy. So if you don't have one, recommend it. I would even get a bigger one if you could for the head studs because I was struggling with this little tiny thing getting an accurate reading. But I think we're gonna stop here for today at least. We got our cams with the cam block in place and now everything is sitting flush which is nice to see so we're kind of at time with our cams at least we're going to do the same thing with our our block get that up to top dead center and then we have all of our miscellaneous kind of timing pieces that we need to put but i'm going to do that off camera probably so i can take my time with it and then that way, in the next video, you guys can actually see this car get put back together for the most part and then get started. So that's the game plan. We're hoping that we can get this car started by this weekend and uh, get it running again because I, I am dying to drive it. So with that being said, we'll close out this video here. Let me know if you guys wanna see the more detailed stuff of like putting stuff back together. And if you guys do, I'll definitely record it. If not, then I'll just kind of get to the fun part and get this thing put back and ready to go. And with that, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.